when you're starting a project or so like okay like is this just two of us who are interested in this or are there more people who might find this interesting people started trying signals out just testing it in their local dev environment that hey what does it look like and i use it in for my project they we found that hey like somebody has raised a pr and uh, at the, till that time it was like just few of us like internally internal team were trying to collaborate and suddenly find that hey like, like there's somebody new is not part of the team our first sort of big uh, launch was launch in hacker news where we shared for the first time with uh, about the project with the world and like it was overwhelming like we got lots of interest but lots of us like very critical and like very like hey why are you choosing this data store and why are you choosing this data store we got to learn lot more aspects of the product which we had to think about i think we got like some 200 awards or something so it was like trending on the front page for some time and that sort of shows that there's like more people who are interested in a product like this signos is an app application monitoring product for example you are running a java service that's like a web app which is running and then you want to understand hey like how is this java java app performing is it fast slow is it giving errors right so we help developers monitor their applications and if there are any troubles we can they can send proactive alerts and get more steps on how they can debug it right it starts maybe from like four or five people team and to like huge enterprise right? uh where they have like 10000 people and then they want to monitor the stack they want to get complete visibility now the use cases that we want to closely tie different type of telemetry signals so there are metrics the traces logs right to a much better job in like integrating this together and then being able to surface like insights from that we have a unique advantage where we have a single data store where we store all the three different type of signals so the correlation becomes much more like powerful there and that sort of is one direction we are focusing on in terms of uh, the product where the product is heading right the amount of requests we get the amount of sort of pipe of users which we get is much uh, larger compared to if you are just a um, closed source company our community is acting as a semi product development team right for us because they are sort of always thinking that okay can can signals be used here different way of building product right so yes. involving everybody in the decision everybody has a say they can mention your product while compared to like okay there are like five people who think are the best or who th- we think are know the best about what should be in the product and uh, they should build it and this sort of way is like much faster as in you can just decide okay this 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 and let's build it while this is sort of taking more people in the committee but like we are of the belief that this is like a more longer term path to success like if you want to really make a product which is changes the landscape you need to involve everybody and then take take everybody along with you get feedback from the community keep getting feedback from the community and build what people are looking for rather than a uh, like have like think what's best for the world and then build it so it's like two views and choosing open source we have sort of by default taken this view and as of now we are loving it we are currently i think nine full time employees and couple couple of contractors who work with us um i think the broad philosophy we have here is to keep the team as small as possible and empower the team as much as possible anybody who is trying your product right like developers are trying this the natural aim is to like start with a small machine or a small laptop so i think that part we missed in the earlier aspect we thought that hey like because the product is need used by teams they can obviously spin up a kubernetes cluster right but that sort of introduces friction because you need to have people who have permissions to it uh, spin up a cluster many people don't have for projects which are more relevant for teams even though like your eventual users would be coming from bigger teams even then you need to op- uh, like spend on single developer experience what's a single machine or single laptop experience for your product and that's super critical and and I mean, maybe if you would have learned known that much earlier we would have sort of started with a different data store and would have saved us like 3 4 months of our time we as a community should spread more word about like how can people do open source 
and even like building companies around it as people get more and more information about like hey how things are done and like how other people have done it i think more people will get up and maybe one day we will have all the projects by default open source rather than like closed source i think that's that's the long term vision